King Connor, Connor McNessa, King of Ulster. Somebody tried to assassinate him one time with a brain ball. Now, a brain ball was a sort of magic weapon. The Irish were headhunters. When they conquered somebody, they cut off his head and kept the head as a trophy. But if their opponent was a great warrior, they would take the brain out of the head and mix the brain material with cement and then let it dry. So it was like as hard a stone as you can get, but it had a brain of a great warrior inside it. And because it had the brain in it, it was considered to have extra power, a sort of magic power. So a man made a brain ball, put it in a sling, and threw it at Connor. It went into Connor's head and lodged there, but it didn't kill him. His people took him to the doctors. The doctors looked at it and said, well, if we take the brain ball out of your head, your brains will come out of the hole and it will kill you. So we have to leave it in. But from now on, you are not to go into battle. No fighting. No excitement. Don't run. Don't get excited. Don't get angry. Don't get upset. And you'll live. When Colonel Kiernock came back to Ireland with the news that a man who preached peace and brotherly love was executed by the Romans as a common criminal. King Connor got so angry that he took his sword, went out to the woods, and started to hack at the trees. And the exertion made the brain ball pop out of his head and killed him. The medieval scholars reckoned that Connor was the first Christian in Ireland because he had undergone the baptism of blood.